It's important for all of us to recognize the significance of Stop the Sexual Exploitation of Children and Youth Awareness Week. In my 32 years with the RCMP, some of the most memorable, frustrating and heartbreaking investigations involve the abuse of children and young people. This week is a reminder that each of us, not just first responders, teachers and community leaders, but everyone, can help to prevent human trafficking and the sexual exploitation of children and youth. In the days ahead, community events, workshops and presentations throughout the province will spark conversation and help communities to identify ways to help protect our kids through better prevention, education and enforcement. There's never been a more important time to talk to our young people. In particular, they need to know to how to use the internet safely and to recognize the online dangers. Our kids need to know that online friends are still strangers and they should tell a trusted adult anytime they think someone may be trying to coerce them or to pressure them. That said, I don't agree with the vigilantism and the shaming approaches that some groups use. They don't protect our children. They may well put themselves in danger. They can compromise active police investigations. And remember, if you take the law into your own hands, you run, run the risk of being investigated for a criminal offence or breaking privacy laws. In fact, the Privacy Commissioner is now investigating one such group. It's far better to let police conduct these kinds of investigations so they can gather the evidence needed to support any charges. In BC, we have dedicated experts like the RCMP's Integrated Child Exploitation Unit, which works with officers across Canada to stop predators. Again, I'd like to encourage you to report any circumstances that concern you to the police.